Hi thinkers, welcome to the microprocessor playlist on Thinkex Academy. This is the tutorial or the lecture 4.2 where we are going to discuss about opcode. In this section 4, we have already discussed about uh, the 16 bit and 32 bit instruction format. We have discussed them and we know that inside of that we uh, have an opcode field, right? So, uh, what our main task is to basically convert the instruction that we are given uh, we will have to do two tasks right i'm just going to define these two tasks very uh, simple task the number one task is to convert from assembly to binary code right which is uh, basically our microprocessor can only execute in the native binary code so that's why we uh, should know how we can convert the assembly to the binary and similarly from the binary code to the assembly code right and that's the main reason why we have uh, instruction format which way uh, which will help us in understanding how we can do these conversions and uh, let uh, we will take some examples uh, of these conversions and it will help us understand different uh, types of instructions and how we can convert them into binary or in assembly so uh, let me just write a simple instruction here which is a move instruction right let's say this is a move ax comma bx instruction now uh, in this instruction we we already know that the contents of the bx register will go into the ax register now what we want to do is we want to convert it into a binary form right for that we will have to make use uh, we will have to take the help of the instruction format now in order to do that and similarly if we are given some binary form right so let's take an example which we are going to which we have also taken in the previous tutorial which is 8 b e c h right so you are given uh, this hexadecimal format you can simply convert it into the binary form right so let's just uh, convert this to binary form. In order to convert it in binary form, you can see 8, B, E and C. These are the four parts. If we want to represent 8 in the form of binary and remember that H is there, which means it is a hexadecimal number. So 8 represents 1 triple zero. Right, you can just take the help of this 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 2. You know our traditional method of finding the binary, right? Converting from hexadecimal to binary. Similarly, we have already discussed how to convert hexadecimal to binary. In binary form, B is represented as 1011. E is represented as one, uh, triple 1 and 0. And similarly, C is represented as 1100, right? So we are given this uh, instruction in a binary form. Basically, in a hexadecimal, we can convert it into a binary form, right? So let me just, uh, let's just write all these in continuous manner. So 8 is 1 triple 0. Then we have B as 1 0 1 1. Then we have E, which is triple one zero and c is one one zero zero right so this whole thing is basically a you can see this is a 16 bit instruction right so now what i want to do is i want to find out a way uh, let's just uh, we, we will have to find out a way to convert this uh, instruction into the assembly format right which is this one right so uh, if you are given a particular instruction in this form how can you convert it into by uh, in this assembly language right that's our main objective now this is a 16-bit instruction we know this after expanding it if the 66 or 67 h will be appended here right 
66 or 67 is appended then it means it is a 32 bit instruction right so in our question we have the 16 bit so how to convert it into assembly that's our main question we know from the uh, uh, 16 bit instruction format how we can divide it right so let's just first the first step is to divide it uh, this whole uh, 16 bit instruction into two bytes right so three four five six seven eight right so this is the byte one And this one is going to be byte 2. So we are going to analyze this instruction into two different bytes, right? So byte 1 contains 1 triple 0, 1 0, 1 1. This is byte 1, right? And byte 2 contains 1 1 1 0, 1 1 0 0, right? So these are the two bytes which we are going to study separately from the instruction format of the 16 bit instruction which we have studied in the tutorial 4.1 we know that this byte 1 represents the op code right and which is basically the topic of this uh, tutorial 4.2 op code right byte 2 represents the mod register and register slash memory field we are going to draw some neat uh, rectangles around this because we are going to and we, we will have to analyze each and every bit because each and every bit in this instruction uh, gives us some information about uh, how you can convert it into a assembly right so this is the binary code we have to convert it into assembly code always remember the objective of the question right then only you will be able to solve it so the byte 1 represents op code byte 2 represents mod field which is of 2 uh, 2 bit right so this is the mod field we have studied it in 4.1 tutorial then we have the register field which is of 3 bits and then we has register slash memory field right which is byte 2 we are concerned with byte 1 and in the further tutorials in the next tutorial basically we will con we are concerned about byte 2 right in byte 1 we have the op code now op code stands for operational code right or just the operation code so every instruction we know that every instruction performs some operation in this case you can see the operation is to move the data in some cases it is to add the data in some cases it to it is to load the effective address right so uh, in some cases it is the exchange right we have studied uh, so many uh, instructions are there so every instruction has some perfect uh, some specific use right for that specific use they have an opcode right so from this opcode the uh, processor the microprocessor understand which type of instruction or which type of operation should it perform right so the first six bits for of this byte one right you can see the first six bits which is one zero 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 one zero these first six bits represent the op code then we have these last two bits we will divide them in two again the last bit is known as the W bit and this bit is known as the D bit. We are going to cover uh, both of them because in this tutorial we are concerned about byte 1, right? So opcode you can see in, uh, in this particular example of 8 B E C H we have the opcode as 1 triple 0 1 0. Now how will we know uh, what operation uh, it is actually representing right so the answer to that question is that when uh, the intel microprocessors are manufactured uh, they comes uh, they come with a manual which has a table that represents the op codes and the uh, corresponding operation right so i will give the link to that pdf which is here right this is the pdf i will give this link to the pdf in the description you just need to go on 
page number 801 right which comes under the instruction formats and encoding right so you can see here we have integer instruction formats and encoding so here you can see here is the move data right you can see the move instruction here which is the move data this one here i'm not uh, i'm unable to select it but you can see here i'm talking about this one and you can see there are various instructions in this lss ltr and if you move down even move have different uh, instructions like move to or from debug registers segment registers move sx move zx zero extend right so many instructions are there and these all these instructions have a opcode written in this table right uh, which is the encoding now our move instruction is to just simply move data which is here in this table you can see this is the move instruction move data right so you can see these are the two bytes right this one is the first byte you can see it is a 8 bit and separated by a colon here and then we have again 8 bits right so these 8 bits we know this is the byte 2 right from this diagram this is the byte 2 it represents the mod register and ram but we are not concerned about this at this point we are concerned about the byte 1 right so here is our byte 1 which is of 8 bits right now from these 8 bits you can see it is 1 triple 0 1 0 0 and w now we know that the last two bits are uh, d and w bit right so w bit can be from this diagram you can see here out of these 8 bits 2 bits are d and w right we will study what is the meaning of d and w but just concentrate on the first 6 bits right the first 6 bits which is 1 triple 0 1 0 we are going to match it with our table and in this table you can see 1 triple 0 1 0 means that it is a move instruction so from this uh, table we can actually tell whether it is a move instruction or not you can see all the move instructions of moving the data is 1 triple 0 1 0 right last two bits are changing but the first six bits are uh, same in all these cases you can see that right from register to memory from memory to register from register 2 to register 1 these are the uh, commands or the operation code so this is the main use of operation code so this actually represents the move instruction and specifically it is a move instruction that is used to simply move the data so now we have understood the first six bit of the 16 bit instruction format now let's study what is the use of d and w uh, first study we will study about w which is very simple w is a single bit right so it can be either zero or it can be one if w is zero it means that the uh, register can contain one byte of data right one byte if w is zero right so the instruction can look like this move al comma let's say bl right l means lower bit we have al plus ah h is the higher bit which is equal to ax right so these two are 8 bit and 8 bit right so 8 bit is one byte so if w is zero it means that in the assembly language instruction we have the l or h right if w is 1 then it means it can be either a word or a double word right so what is word and what is double word word is 32 bit sorry 16 bit word is 16 bit double word is 32 bit right so it is 16 bit it is 32 bit here 
So if it is word, then it means that we are actually making use of AX, BX, CX and so on, right? If it is one byte, W is zero. That means inside of the instruction of the assembly language, you can see it is going to be a word or a double word. Double word means it can be EAX, EBX and so on, right? We have already studied about 32 bit registers. So, in this example, what is the value of one uh, W? It is 1, right? So, W is 1, it means that we have a word or a double word. Now, you can see that our instruction is of 16 bit, so obviously, it is going to be a word, right? And you can see that word means it is going to be AX, BX, CX, or something like that. So, you can see in our instruction, we have X here right it means that w will have to be equal to 1 if it will be l w is 0 right so this bit this uh, this eighth bit out of this byte 1 is uh, it is basically you can see that it is giving us the information of how to convert the binary into assembly right the first six bits suggest that the it is a move instruction the last bit represents whether it is a word or a double word or a byte now let's move on to the uh, this second last bit which is the d bit right so d can be also one bit only it can be zero it can be one d bit is also known as direction right because it specifies the direction let's see how it specifies the direction if the value of d is equal to zero then we will uh, if we are considering the d bit we will have to move to the byte 2 right in byte 2 we have register and register to memory now this is an important part it will be a little bit complex part so please pay attention to this part uh, it is very important to understand it here so you can see that uh, a move instruction can perform various tasks right uh, what are these tasks from this table you can see that move data can move data from a register 1 to a register 2 right so it will be a it will be moving data from re register to register then it is from register 2 to register 1 then it can also move data from memory which is main memory to register and vice versa from register to memory so the move instruction can have these four we are going to focus on only these four at this point right so move instruction has these four variations which is it can move data from register to register register to memory memory to register right there are four combinations now this d value is used to represent that right so if d is zero right if d is zero let me just write here if d is equals to zero then it means that we are going to move from register to register slash memory if d is equals to 1 then we are going to do vice versa which is register memory to register right so let's try to understand uh, what are these right how are we going to convert it or what information uh, we are just going to decode this information so we have various move instruction right so for example ax comma bx is an instruction which moves let's say this is our register 1 and this is our register 2 this move instruction uh, moves the data from register 2 to register 1 in some cases move instruction can also move the data from register 1 to register 2 for both these cases we are going to use the value of uh, d equals to 0 because we are going to move from register to a register now if the move instruction is something like this right if it is let's say 
move ax comma ds which is the data segment right data segment is a part of main memory and inside of main memory we are saying bx plus si we know si is the index right so this instruction moves the data from the memory to the register right this is our register one in that case you can see this from memory to register means d is equals to one now one important question that can come in your mind is how will we know that r slash m is a register or a memory right because it can't be both the things at the same time it can be a register or it can be a memory now for that we will make use of mod field which we will study in the next tutorial basically if mod field is 1 1 you can see mod field contains of two bits which means four combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 right so if the mod field is 1 1 it means that r slash m is a register right we will create a table and for uh, these three also they also have some specific purpose we will discuss them but as of now we are just saying that when the mod field is 1 1 it means that rm is acting like a register right so this is acting like a register so if it is a register to rm right which is a register now because mod field is 1 1 the value of d will be equal to 0 if we are transferring from uh, register memory to the register we are going to mark d equals to 1 one important thing is we have to find out which one of these is source and destination right so r e g you can see in this case the value of d is equals to 1 right if d is 1 then it means that the data is going to move from r slash m or register to memory uh, from memory to the register right so uh, here only we can do this just make an arrow field here from registered memory to register which is this example you can see this the value of d will be equal to 1 and from here to here the value of d is equals to 0 now hope you have understood this concept of d d specifies the direction the direction of data right where the data is going to move is it going to move from register to registers r slash m or it is going to move from r slash m to register right this is the main case here so we will use this also to understand uh, where to put the register and where to put the memory inside of the assembly instruction right in the next tutorial we will study about mod field if you have not understood the use of d field yet uh, do not uh, panic because in the further coming tutorials when we are going to do some examples this will become more clearer to you and uh, what i just want to say is make sure that you make notes of uh, all these tutorials so that uh, you will be able to refer it in the upcoming tutorials so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching